There's so much to see, do, and eat at the Bloomsburg Fair. And Home and Backyard joins in the fun of the state's largest fair. Sampling the treats, meeting new friends, and farm animals, of course. Celebrate an NEPA tradition with a special Home and Backyard at the Bloomsburg Fair. everyone to Home and Backyard at the Bloomsburg Fair. It might be a little rainy, but that never stops the fun. I'm Jackie Lewandowski, along with Paul Epsom and... Don, Don Jacobs, Jacob. yes, and we're privileged to have you along, sir. Well, thank you for including me. I know we've been talking about who's doing what, who's eating what. I'm excited. Me too. There's a ton of things to do here, and we can't wait to get started, so... You guys, let's get busy. Let's, let's spread out. our separate See ways. See you later. Catch you Bye. guys later. Celebrating Autumn's beauty right here in the Horticulture Building. And Scott, you're responsible for this display. It's magnificent. Well, thank you very much. I have a lot of help. This year, Thorn Care Landscaping, Native Creations, Patterson Block, and E.P. Henry have contributed this year $15,000 wow. wall here. That is fabulous. We've repurposed the horse and the wagon this year and brought it all together. The pump is actually from a farm that was in Danville and they gave it to us. You've got the uh, rutabecchia, mm -hmm. which kind of resembles the sunflower. You've got the cone flower and the beautiful backdrop uh, this year showing the, the farm and the sunflowers. We're trying to keep a sunflower theme together. I love it. The plants look so good. They look so healthy. And I love the particular orange colors too of the rutabecchia. Well, that brings out the beauty of autumn, which is really, really fantastic. Absolutely. And it's the spot to take a great selfie here at the fair. It sure is. Well, there's a lot of things to see here in the horticulture building, right? There sure is. In the front, we have our potted people. In the back, we've got the beautiful garden club displays. And this year's green plants from House Plants. It goes to show that you really don't have to find an expensive container. An old pair of shoes works just as well. Great. Thanks, so, Scott. We're going to enjoy the rest of the fair. Very good. Thank you. So, Jackie, I'm here in the Yoder building. Is that yep. right? Yep. Jeff Digger, friend of... WNEP and in charge of livestock, this is a one heck of a great display for people to see animals. Tell us what's in this building. Yes, in this building we have 4-H kids and FFA kids that have market lambs and market goats. They raise them throughout the year and then they show them here on Tuesday. But when we were together just recently, you said you've got to check out this longhorn yep. cow. Yep, yep, Texas Tell me about longhorn. It. Uh, it's a seven-year-old female with horns and its name is Pretty and he's exhibited by Dayton Hess in Benton. He's doing a great job and it's a great exhibit here at the fair. How about that? You've, got, you've actually got a cow milking here. Yes. And who yes, would expect it, it to be the one with the longest horns? Yes, yep, he brought a calf as long, a well, you know, with him. Yep. So Jeff, Jeff tell me, how big is that animal? How, how, what are they raised for? Is it... Yeah, they're raised for beef and for horns. You know, the horns is a big product, almost like a, a white-tailed deer, you know, they, they go, people like the horns and, and that too, yes, yeah, so, so, and pets, you and, know. Yeah, and pets, so people could come here, see the smallest of the little animals and the big ones, and there's one heck of a white horse over there too, yes. tell me about that. Yeah, Jesse Fist from, from Millville here, yeah, he's been exhibiting here and he has four Percherons, you know, white and black. That's gorgeous. And again, where is this in the fairgrounds? This is in the livestock area along Avenue E and uh, you can see them in the livestock area in the large arena and the small arena and outdoor ring. Awesome. What are you up to, Paul? The Bloomsburg Fair is a great place to hang out, literally. If you hang out long enough, you're gonna earn some money. Anyway, let's go to the agricultural hall and find out what's going on there. Woo! 